friends so i just quickly wanted to show you how you can create dutch doors on planify pro with a week at a glance in the back and half page dailies in the front so on the create page um, open the sizing panel and then you want to select your planner size for example the pocket size then next open the layout panel and then go to adjust layout and scroll all the way down until you see the helper line setting and then click on show and you see it added you a guideline now this guideline here can be adjusted but i recommend you to have it set to 30 percent like this now the daily planners in the dutch door they only cover three thirds of the planner so this guideline will help us to know where exactly to cut the planner and where to add the weekly boxes on top so now that we have a guideline go back to choose layout and now we want to create the weekly planner or the week at the glance with the seven boxes on top now select the left page and then add a layout that has three boxes on top and a few below for example this one here and then on the right page we want to add a layout that has the same amount of boxes but four on top for example this one and what we have to do next is we have to adjust the layout so the gap here is within the guideline so go back to adjust layout select the left page and then if you scroll down here under row you'll have a setting where you can adjust the layout so here where it says one you want to type in three or more and just move it around until until the weekly boxes are above the guideline and the guideline is within the gap here like this and do the same to the right page select the right page and then um, adjust the row so the gap is within the guideline like this so this looks good right now and you see that here we created boxes for the weeklies so let's create a weekly planner so select the first box and then go to to do or you can add any widget you like and click on notes and this would be monday then this is wednesday thursday friday saturday and sunday and below here we could for example add another to-do list um, if you want to remove the header click on hide header like this and then let's adjust or increase the number of rows add check boxes and next to it we could add a grid widget for notes remove the header like this and maybe adjust the grid like this and here a tracker would be nice so let's add a tracker a heavy tracker and increase it to 12 rows so this is how the week at a glance now looks like and before you export and download this planner go back to the layout panel go to adjust layout and now you want to remove the guideline from the planner so scroll all the way down here and where it says show uh, uncheck the box and remove the guideline and now you can download and print out this week at the glance planner so to create the dailies go back to the layout panel and then go to adjust layout and now since the dailies only cover three thirds of the whole page uh, we will have to lower down the gap or we will have to add a padding here on top so nothing no widgets can be in the upper part up here so to do that go to padding top and here you can adjust the padding the top padding and you could add a gap or for example a spacing and adjust it to be below the guideline like this so this would be okay and now that you adjusted the gap here on top 
you can go back to layout and create your usual daily planner. So you see that you can apply any layout and it will not go over the guideline because this upper part here will be cut out anyway. So just choose a layout you like and I will create a simple schedule with a to-do list next to it. 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. no sticker and then make the column width a tiny bit smaller. Uh, remove the header and next to it let's add a to-do list and no header as well and then maybe increase the rows and you can create any kind of daily planner. And now I think a title or a header would be nice so go to the text panel add a left title and change it to Monday and then maybe also change the font then you can add it in the middle of the planner adjust the sizing of the text the font size so you see that it currently hits the guidelines so let's go back to the layout panel and let's increase the top heading so it won't hit the guidelines anymore. Because where the guideline is is where you will cut the paper. So I think we should add some flags, that would be nice. So click on sticker mode and if you go to office and if you scroll down on the office panel you will see a graphic that looks like a flag, like this one here. So click on it and then move it around or move it below and place it next to the title. And you could use this flag to write in the dates, for example. And you can also change the color to have it white, like this. Now if you're happy with your daily planner, um, copy paste it to the right side, like this. You might have to adjust the flag. So back to sticker mode, adjust the flag, and here you go. So this is how the daily planner looks like right now. And now we will have to create this daily page for every day in the week from Monday to Sunday, which means we will have to create multiple pages. So to do that, um, you will have to open the workspace up here and then click four times on add planner to create four pages. If you're unsure about how multiple pages work and how to create multiple pages and how this panel on the left side here works, check out our YouTube tutorial and there I explain it to you in depth how everything works. So to explain you very quickly, um, on page one where it says one, that would be the first page, which is Monday. And then Tuesday would be here on the second page where it says two, so that would be Tuesday. And then next to it where it says three, that would be Wednesday. And then if you go back to page one, number four left, that would be a Thursday. And then three on page three, uh, the right side would be Friday because five is Friday. And I'll get to page eight later. So let's jump to page four. Six left would be Saturday. Then next to it uh, would be Sunday. And let's go back to page eight. And on the last page, I think we could create a next week page. So let's change the layout to a one box layout like this and add a to-do list. And this could be a place where you write down all things to do next week. Like this. So to quickly show you, this is how page one looks like. And then this is page two. Tuesday, Wednesday, page three, next week and Friday, and page four, Saturday and Sunday. 
then just click on batch generate and download this planner to your computer and then you want to print the insert front and back and also make sure to cut out along the guideline here if you have any questions feel free to message me instagram or facebook anytime and i will try to respond to your questions as quickly as i can bye